Now a blue tang would be one of the most popular reef aquarium fish. Even though it's fairly inappropriate for most circumstances. Because they get white spots super easy. And they grow super fast and get super big. Even though of that, they're a fish that everyone's prepared to try. So, getting over the potential disappointment of this fish. This is a fish that when it settles into a tank, they are very, very tough. But, they don't always settle into the tank. They definitely come with risk. Risk predominantly of white spot. Pre-quarantining this fish is a very important thing. You want to quarantine it for a month in a low salinity and then slowly build it up to full salinity before putting it into your reef tank. But it's a very popular fish. I sell a lot of these fish and the ones that settle in are usually absolutely beautiful with the coral. But every now and then you get one that's not. Um, some time ago, I had a display tank here at Majestic Aquariums and I had a blue tang that I used, that I watched rip all the heads off my hammer coral. So, though blue tangs are usually an absolutely beautiful reef aquarium fish once settled in, you can still get individuals that are little bastards and rip their heads off your corals. Now, Therefore, you just need to keep an eye on them because at the end of the day, the fish do what the fish do. And though a blue tang is normally a great aquarium fish, it is important for you to monitor yours because it doesn't mean yours will be a great aquarium fish because maybe it'll go and rip the heads off your corals like I did. And I have come across other tanks that I've worked with that have had blue tangs that do go for the coral. Whether they're doing it because they're bored, whether they're doing it because they're hungry, whether they're doing it because they just want to be a pain in the ass. Anyway, put a little note on the bottom of this video and let us know what fish have you had that attack your corals that you absolutely didn't think would attack your corals. I've even had clownfish that rip the tentacles off an enemies. So, the moral of the story is that just because you think it'll work, doesn't mean it'll work. Also, just because you think it won't work, doesn't mean it won't work. Welcome to Keeping Fish.